Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, you wanted me to react to Ahmed Didat. However, this time you wanted me to watch his video titled Pornography in the Bible, Ezekiel 23. Well, I didn't expect this title. Let's have a look. Pornography. Very strong. Brother Swaggart is very strong in his condemnation. And I am with him. Pornography. Any type, whether in written form, whether in pictures or in films, it's a horrible thing. In his book, For sure. Brother Swaggart gives you his research, his study. Number one, he says, when you read or you see these things, it acts like a drug. Yeah. Like, like marijuana or opium or heroin or alcohol, it acts like a drug. It actually has been proven that dopamine gets secreted every time you watch pornography. So even scientifically speaking, yes, it acts exactly like a drug. You see these things? It's a chemical action takes place. Yes. And I agree with Brother Swala. Dopamine. Chemical action takes place. You know? So you read about ins after it, pornography. Pornography. Your mind is getting used to that. Escalation takes place. Desensitization takes place. These are his terms. Huh? Uh, these are the fir first time I'm learning these terms. And you must then play the role, act out the role. This is how this sickness, this disease overpowers man. It's absolutely correct. It doesn't only overpower men, but women as well. I talk to women and men alike that had pornography addiction. And ultimately, in the end, yes, you emulate what you see. Monkey see, monkey do. Ultimately, we are susceptible to external ideas, especially in this environment. When you're already secreting dopamine, it is very, very pleasurable for you. So therefore, you start associating what you see with pleasure. On top of that, as he said correctly, desensitization takes place. Everything that you see is not enough anymore. So therefore, you have to step it up. You have to amp it up. You start with soft porn, then you graduate further to normal porn, then you proceed to hardcore porn, and ultimately it is a barrel without a bottom. It just continues. I've seen guys that even watched homosexual porn because the normal porn, even though it is absolutely abnormal, didn't do the job anymore. This is what happens when you get desensitized. Strong in his condemnation. He is closest to my government in South Africa, because if I take any of some of the magazines that I can buy at Kennedy Airport or at Heathrow, anywhere, if I take it into my country, I go to jail for two years. That's good. That's how good. That's my country, South Africa. You know, it has its, you know, this, the other side of the picture. But as far as religion goes, as far as religiosity goes, they are very, very staunch Christians. That's good, man. But that can... I don't think it's still like that, though. This video is old. ...banned portions of the Bible. There was a pamphlet in circulation with extracts, nine extracts from the Holy Bible. And somebody sent it to the censorship board. Said, look at this. What is this? So they made a decree that this pamphlet is banned. Not knowing that these are words from the Holy Bible. These were extracts from the Holy Bible, from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 23. I dare any preacher read it to read it to the congregation. I dare any evangelist to read it to his mother, his sister, his daughter, or even to his fiance if she's a good woman. To be honest, to me personally, this is not a strong argument. The Old Testament simply described what has happened, no matter how degenerate it was. Moreover, it showed it explicitly, so therefore it could come as a warning to us. Ezekiel, chapter 23. The whoredoms of those two sisters. Ahola and Aholiba. The language, the language. So, it. My government banned it, and there were two ministers of the church on the board when they banned it. But they didn't know they were banning extracts from the Holy Bible. My government is so staunch that they had banned Lady Chatterley's Lover. It's a novel, Lady Chatterley's Lover. It had one offensive word, four-letter word, one word for which they banned it for 20 years. 
But now they've grown big, they're mature now, they have allowed it. You know, they have desensed it, they have withdrawn that, uh, True. that order against the book. But nine extracts from the Holy Bible, the book of God, which you are ashamed to read to your audience, I dare my brother, I dare him to read this pamphlet, I have it here ready, he doesn't have to even open the book, here. All those wordings in red, I said, look, with your usual, your usual charismatic language, with the usual actions, I would love to see Brother Swagat. I, I, I feel ashamed to bribe him. I said, look, Brother Swagat, if you can read it to the audience, I give you a hundred dollars. What is a hundred dollars to Brother Swagat? <laughs> when I'm reading in his book on Roman Catholicism, that he needs $291,000 a day to keep his head above water. Again, I have to say, I don't really understand what the conflict here is, and I don't even understand why the priest would be ashamed to read it out loud. This is not a recommendation. This is not that God tells us we should behave in that certain degenerate way, but much rather he describes the degeneracy that has taken place in history. I calculated I really don't six an million a year just to keep above water. And in the evangelist of December 85, he's aspiring. I wish him luck, he's aspiring for one million dollars a day. He needs, he says, one million dollars a day. So good luck to him. But now, <laughs> if I said I give you a thousand, brother sir, God, I give you a thousand. You know, I can't tempt him, I know. But in his usual spirited way, I hope and I pray that he has the courage, the guts, which all the priests in my experience have not had. Read it. Read it to your audience. Ezekiel chapter 23. I agree. Read if you it. can't, then I can tell you that it is not the word of God. The Bible is not the word of God. I have to say here that no real Christian would claim that the Bible is the direct word of God. I mean, even if you read the Bible, you will see that it says the Lord says. And in this context, yes, it would be the word of God. But other than that, you have stories, you have eyewitness accounts, you have stories about the past, you have predictions about the future, etc., etc. So the Bible doesn't even claim itself to be the word of God at all times. Alright guys, this is it for today's video. Just a quick one. I heard so many good stories about Ahmed Didat. However, this presentation, I have to say, seemed a bit like a cheap shot to me. Let's be honest, just because some priests miss the guts to read those passages out loud doesn't mean that therefore the Bible loses credibility or therefore certain passages are not the word of God. As I said already, the Bible doesn't claim to be the word of God at all times. Times, it claims, of course, to be inspired by God. But it's not a literal transliteration coming through the prophets like the Quran. So therefore, there are two very different books. It's like comparing apples and oranges. The Quran and the Bible have two very, very different formats, and therefore you cannot directly compare them. But moreover, the Quran calls the Christians and the Jews the people of the book. Therefore, yes, I would say that Muslims as well can find a lot of value within the Bible, within the Torah. Of course, you will look at it from the lens of the Quran, I have to assume, but nevertheless, there is a lot of historical value in there. There is a lot of metaphysical, metaphorical value within the Bible as well. We cannot just discredit it because even the Quran doesn't discredit the Bible. Anyways, as always, guys, let me know in the comment section if you like those videos and if you want me to continue, please post videos as well that I should react to. If you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.
تجزعي وإلى موال